Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video, we're gonna be up against Shen Chucky right here and yeah Of course before we start go on ahead smash the like button and turn on the notification to all notifications So that you will not miss and upload your stream from my channel without further ado. Let's go jump straight into it New objective Okay, and now I'm gonna be on the top uh, left hand corner and Senchaki will obviously be at the bottom right hand corner. Now of course we're gonna have to start this off with a land land build since there's no ocean. Okay, and we're gonna have to fast forward a bit. The resupply centers, of course a fortress will be produced, additional power plant and then supply centers. And then of course the fortress will be heading straight to where that super container will be spawning. Okay, take note, within this uh, new container collection, I would highly recommend that you build the factory and produce a fortress as fast as possible before the minute and a half mark. So that, of course, your fortress will be able to travel across the map given its speed. And now, as you guys can see, I'm going to have to gather this container right here and I'll have the fortress tank over the remaining forces of this enemy right here. Meanwhile, a second fortress is here to, of course, give assurance that I'll get that container because, of course, my fortress, first fortress, will obviously fall. Okay, and there it goes. Just like that, I grabbed a hold of that container right there. Okay, and now, of course, we're gonna have to go for nine supply centers and I'll be adding one more as soon as this power plant finished building. Now, a scout on the enemy's base, see what he has. Special vehicle factory, a vehicle factory, and uh, I'm not exactly sure what he's up to, but pretty much he can either go for a rush here, okay, but he's not going for it. So, ooh, level 2 vehicle factory before the HQ3, so that tells me he can either go for a rush or whatever. Okay, now I'll have my Seraphim right here and I'll go for an Avia build, focusing on Avia. There it goes. Seraphim is out for Avia Factory, of course Cyclone Vertex. Two of my Avia Factory will be for Vertex. Okay, and then an airfield and then the rest of the Avia Factory will then go for Cyclone. Now this transition, you can actually use this tactic to of course go for a full uh, full vertex build in any cases it might come late game or Thor's of course now I'm gonna have to go on ahead and scout the enemy's base see what he has gathering this container right here with the fortress okay so he's basically going for a chameleon wow full land army composition with three vehicle factory three special vehicle factory and he already has a chameleon, whereas I don't any have anything on the land just yet. Although I'll be getting this container, but none of that matters if my base has been destroyed. So in response to that, I'll have my special vehicle factory. And of course, I'll be adding another vehicle factory to, of course, you know, like, support and keep up with his production. Since obviously my cyclones are not maxed out, they're not going to work against porcupines who are maxed out or not. Okay, and here goes adding more vertex additional factory fast forward a bit Okay, and some cyclones of course to of course support my seraphim here goes my vertex are going to try and help out my assault right here Okay, did not make it and I'm gonna have to swap this assault infantry with a, a full HP assault right here to keep the scout uh, going as you guys notice, I have scouts all across the map, and this, since this is a huge map, you really needed that scout to see if there are any enemy activities uh, happening. Since this guy is not going for Abia, then why not abuse the fact that you can go for a scout? That makes things a lot easier for you. Okay, and again, getting rid of some scouts, swapping this infantry with this one right here to keep the scout on this area. And the scout onto the enemy's base to see what he has, if he has Avia or not. Very essential scout. And then his army is gone. Pretty much that is where it is. So he's going to move and march towards my base. I'm going HQ level 5 to of course have more command points to have more land army composition at my disposal at this point. Now I have like 
five Zeus, and that's not going to be enough against a full command point Jaguar, Chameleon, and Porcupine. Obviously, that's not going to be enough. All right, now we're going to go on ahead and uh, fast forward a bit. Okay, now if you notice, I also had my Cyclones and Seraphim right there, and I also had like a you know, like a shield position right here. I don't want him to take over above the uh, ground. Of course, I would like to take over this ground right here. And I'm going to have to try and have my Cyclone Seraphine go over here. And deal some damage along with the Vertex. Since, of course, I don't have enough ground to cover this area. Now, the Seraphine will now launch its uh, missile or skill. However, the uh, delay made it almost impossible for it to be safe. The lag was so imba. Okay, and now, again, Cyclones are now going to be produced along with those Zeus. Going to have to retreat right here, gather the remaining forces that I have. Okay, and he, obviously he has more Jaguar, Chameleon, and Porcupines. And let's see what will happen. I only have two Zeus here. More Zeus are on the way. Okay, I'm going to have to gather this container right here, which spawned right about, right in the middle of that assault. Okay, more Cyclones are just now popped out. I still have five Vertex here. And I'm going to have to use my my Cyclones to tank this the Porcupine and then use the Vertex to, of course, dish out phenomenal damage right there. Although the Shield Generator was not really following orders and, uh, you know, like, wanted to die. That's it. <laughs> okay, and now I'll have my... Uh, my Zeus focus on those porcupines since, of course, that will lessen the uh, anti-air activity from this guy right here and gives my Vertex more freedom to move around. Okay, and... Ta-da! Alright, well, that's how you do it. Normally, it can be done a lot better given the, uh, given the lag right here. I actually did terrible. I lost more than I should. Thanks to the lag, of course. But, of course, not all instances there are lags like this. So you can execute this plan a lot better. Okay, and then of course, having the Vertex dance around. And then Porcupines, as they are ultra powerful, could not kill a Vertex, of course. And yeah, but to be fair, I have three Vertex there. <laughs> okay. Okay, more Vertex. Come in production boost. And uh, more Zeus, Shield, and the Seraphim will be remade. And this time around, I'm going to be using it at, for a different purpose. I'm going to go have it on land. Okay, now since this, of course, this is a, a land map. And I'm going to have to play this game of land shenanigans. Land army composition is going to be my forte. And I'll have a mix of Avia and, of course, Zeus. But more onto the Zeus side. Okay, a guy right here performing by, performed by my Vertex. Let's see if he's switching tactics. No, he's not. Because chameleons are everything for resistance. Okay, at least most. Alright, ooh, man. Okay, and that many porcupines dealt only half damage to my vertex. Of Obviously, because that's porcupines. If those were typhoons, my vertex would have already died. Okay. So, yeah. Again, we're gonna have to produce more units. I'll have seven... Vertex. Now, the idea here of producing more Vertex is for me to snipe those factories since he had, does not have any anti-air defenses. Now, I'll have to wait for him to move around the map to, of course, help me snipe this uh, um, factory of his. I'll have a total of 9 Vertex that can actually do the job well against an unguarded base. Okay. And, of course, some Cyclones... He's moving across the map yet again in order for me, in order for him to attack my base. And yes, I'll have more Zeus this time around. And there goes those Vertex are going to try and snipe the uh, factory that he has going from each factory as they swing by the curb. And there goes another factory. Bam. No more chameleon for you, my friend. Okay, and here goes his army. That's a huge ground army composition versus only some Zeus that I have because my army is somehow split in half in terms of command points. But of course, chameleons be like chameleons are going to retreat with a shield and a Zeus because they're resistance. And then using the skill right there because that's where the uh, 
most of the units are located okay and now the uh, seraphine here is not maxed out by the way okay and i'm gonna have to use that and yeah some of the zeus are or some of the jaguars are focus firing on my seraphine meaning my zeus will have free shots okay and yeah that's about it that's like chameleon in a nutshell it will of course it retreat yeah and i'll just use recovery boost to recover the hp of my zeus that has been bruised up meanwhile i barely lost some command points there i only lost some cyclones and that's pretty much it because you know the enemy is a resistance so that's normal okay now a uh, c container here is about to pop out i'm gonna have to let it pop out right there let him get it you know give him a chance because he's resistance and yeah vertex are gonna go over here and snipe again those factory but i'll have to focus on this anti-air this time around okay and checking his uh, army where it is okay not nearly in his base and then again i'll snipe the uh, factories that he has because he is resistance okay and his two anti-air obviously did not deal even half damage to my vertex because those are resistance anti-air okay one porcupine damage two three four five porcupine damage did not even destroy a bruised up vertex because that's resistance porcupine okay my vertex ran out of fuel i did not even bother trying to uh trying to micro them because i plan to go on the space system so losing command points is actually a must for me in order for me to shift my tactics and I only have a handful of Zeus as most of my command points are actually uh, consumed by Vertex and a ton of Assault, you know, scouting across the map and some Cyclones right here with the Seraphim and so on. Fast forward again, I'm gonna have to gather this container. Obviously, I'm gonna have to get it on a big map, that is, because uh, enemies resistance. Okay, and ooh, again, mm-hmm. So... Who says that resistance or confederation cannot attack on a big map? So yeah, here's your answer. Uh, yeah, just just like that. And uh, most of the units has been destroyed. And yeah, chameleons are so zero counter. And just look at that. Oh my god, pathetic Zeus, pathetic Seraphine. So weak. Yeah, it's so weak. Not maxed, but can be used. Not so weak, pathetic Seraphine. Okay, pathetic shield. Okay, versus a full army of, of a resistance which has full land army composition. So, yeah. Hmm. So pathetic. Okay, I'm gonna have to destroy those pathetic um, jaguars inside the fog. And then, you know, like, having the vertex destroy here, even with anti-air defense and porcupines, I'll even destroy that building because, you know, vertex are so pathetic. Uh, resistance uh, buildings are so strong again it this battle lasted for like 24 minutes so it should be nerfed you know, resistance needs nerf okay and then of course there are only handful of jaguars right here because they have long range and super fast look how fast they are in siege mode oh my god they are so fast hmm they're so fast and the range is nine so pathetic Zeus okay and now we're gonna have to use this kill Ah, class 2 Seraphim can destroy a Jaguar in one salvo of skill. Mmm, so pathetic. It needs a buff. Okay, so yeah. We're gonna have to destroy the remaining of the base. And yes, of course, this tactic can be used by every player out there that I actually did. But of course, you obviously need constant scouting in order for this to work. It's not gonna work out if you're not scouting. Okay, so in... For this, you need Avia, and if the battle went on, I'll just space strike the guy because he could not do anything else. Even if he had Avia right there, I'll just add a handful of Typhoons, and that's pretty much it. The end, the outcome will still be the same. Resistance, you know, oh man. Too bad for this guy, I've already fulfilled this contract, so he did not fulfill his purpose of letting me do my contract. Okay, so yeah. That's gonna be it for today's video guys, I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did, go on ahead smash the like button and of course turn on the notification to all notification so you're not gonna miss an upload or stream from my channel and might as well check out my previous videos as they contain tips and tricks that can actually help you win a battle. Likewise, thank you for watching 
Have a great day and good luck with your battles. Oh man, those Zeus are so pathetic. Seraphim is so pathetic. Look at that. Mm, pathetic. Bye. Victory.